No problem. Hello, Joe Gorga. I saved you a lay so that you can get officially laid. Oh, 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 Put this one on your hand because that's where you get laid by. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, I think we need something to drink now. Let's right? go do a Let's shot. Let's go do a shot. I'm going to have Tito's and club soda. So what did you guys all do today? Yeah, what'd you do? We drank a little bit. We all got changed, and we had to talk. some sh Not from me. How are you? Hey, guys. Hi, Aloha. 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 Hi, how are you? You look beautiful. Oh, so do you. She's a totally different person now. Like, she's just, like, smiley and calm she, and no, happy. No, she is. But I want to ask her about what she said to you. Did she, like, warn you about me? Yes. She said that it's better to have you as a friend than an enemy. She's going to have to clarify that one. Well, then, when I was shopping with Danielle this week, she was saying that you have, like, this, like, arsenal. Like, you were, like, locked and loaded. Like, you had information so on every single one of And not nice. Yeah. Locked and loaded with information? No. She was so they were judgmental. I'm not judgmental. No. I think I'm opinionated. opinionated. Someone who referred themselves as the bougie mama has a lot of nerve talking sh about me, but she barely knows me. Bougie is like a wannabe. Someone who thinks they're all that and fancy, but they're not. An arsenal. Wait till you know what I know about you. Bougie. Do you know what you're wearing? Not yet, but I'll look through no? some stuff. I'm going to show you my outfit that I think I'm going to wear for the luau. Whoa, that's pretty exotic. I mean, I've been waiting for an occasion to wear this, because this is going to be the first weekend we're there as adults. Yes. My mom is going to come stay with the kids. So I was thinking maybe we could bring Dr. Judy. <laughs> what do you think of Dr. Judy? I think she was very insightful. I mean, you were silent. Because we do sometimes and often say, stupid, inconsiderate, hurtful things. And we're trying to help fix the situation. But I feel like there's a lot of stuff that has been left unsaid, and we keep pretending that everything's OK when it's not. Look, life is, is always complicated, and it's not about being necessarily right or wrong. It's about how the other person feels through that process. This is the reason why, actually, we don't communicate as much as we should, because when he starts talking, it's all like, well, did you think about the situation? And that drives me nuts. I don't always try to find myself to be right. I, I try to reflect as to why is the other person feeling this way. This is Bill's way of not saying anything. But I need you to just like put all your confusion out the window and just be supportive of your wife. So now how's it going to be? We're going to go to this party. I think. We are here to be together and love each other the way that we felt from day one. Yeah. Small steps.